how to build a strong character ladies and gentlemen due to popular demand I wanted to make a video about this but first I want to disclaim that I do not think I have a strong character I have a fairly strong one but the strong character are those people who I look up to my inspirators my mentors so I will just a little bit talk about myself and my experiences but I want to talk about the people who inspired me as well so hopefully by the end of this video uh, you will have complete clarity on how you can build a strong character out of who you are instead of trying to for example copy a person who is not you or who is not completely aligned with your personality so even though if you like me and uh, many of you commented in one of my previous videos that okay my channel should be much bigger I have a strong character strong charisma and so on and I really appreciate that but I think the best way you can go about it is that you make this entire system or this entire set of recommendations as personal to yourself as possible because how your character will be built out over the years and decades might be completely different than how I built my character and how you might perceive it as strong, right? So I would say it has just a couple of main components and I would say number one is the fundamentals of everything physique you need to get jacked if you want a strong character you want to be get confident about your body if you want to have a strong character so if the, the way you look at yourself is not aligning with the way others look at you others respect you others uh, assume discipline about you then it's not gonna work right the same as I talked about in my persuasion video like if you want to them to buy into your vision buy into your thoughts first you have to sell them the way you look so kind of like a first impression okay so physique is very important willpower is very important energy is super duper important and courage and experiences so I would say physique willpower energy courage and experiences so how do we get all of these of course physique you don't want to be like a bodybuilder you don't want to be an athlete either you don't want to go neurotic about biohacking you just need a simple routine that works for you like two to four times in the gym per week taking six to eight thousand steps per day taking care of your sleep taking care of your nutrition eating high protein whole foods 80 90 percent of the time and whatever you want in the remaining 10 to 20 percent it's pretty simple so what you want to make sure is that okay you have a routine and you have systems in place that makes it simple for you so you got the first step sorted and to be honest sometimes this might be the easiest okay might not be the easiest but the most simple this is the most simple some of you find it hard because you never had that kind of consistency in your life so and I know it's much easier when you have the right systems and the right accountability in place so this is what we offer for our clients in the DemiCycle protocol but I think that next to your physique there are other qualities that make sure that you actually build a strong character so as I mentioned physique is just number one step you need to have willpower you need to believe that you are the type of dog who makes it happen so and it's just not some bullshit spiritual motivating speech right you really need to have that belief and that willpower that whatever it takes you will go through it you will go through these challenges trials and tribulations and you want to believe about yourself that whenever you think of something that will become reality I've been living my whole life this by the way not so long life so far I'm 22 years old but especially in the past 15 years I've been living it intentionally maybe it's it's thanks to my amazing upbringing and parents and also my natural curiosity towards this topic of improving myself and building the type of human assembling the type of hero that I wanted to be I was always inspired by fantasy stories whatever Lord of the Rings sagas from the Viking age 
and so on and so on and I wanted to become like those heroes I wanted to become like you know Leonidas from Sparta I wanted to become like Paris of Troy like ancient Greek heroes even Roman heroes Spartacus whatever so I have had my own inspirations of willpower and I quickly realized that these heroes so no matter whether you're talking about Spartacus or Aragorn from the Lord of the Rings they had one thing in common whenever they took something to their mind it was just hard for them to let that go and I lived my my whole life according to this principle when I thought that okay I want to be an actor I want to be on the stage I was eight years old when I thought of this and I was like I want to be playing the main roles I want to be on the stage in front of hundreds of people and I want to perform I was nine years old when I got my first main role at a theater and I did that for more than eight years after that so yeah you might think I could talk about acting on this channel well this is not an acting channel but yeah apparently I have more than eight years of acting experience and all because I had a vision in my head that I want to make this shit happen and I'm willing to do whatever I I need to do to get there when I was at the end of primary school I took it into my head I want to be I want to be attending the best high school in town let's shoot for it people said you have no chance you have no chance to get there well I did that <laughs> um, because I believed in it I had the willpower to do that so and I had my previous experiences to back up my willpower so the more willpower the more experiences the more actual proof of stake social proof you collect over the years the easier it will be to have the willpower and to have the belief in yourself because you will want it more because you you know that you could achieve a lot and you could be achieving a lot more so yeah it wasn't to be honest like a very big achievement but I did that uh, well when I was in kindergarten and I started like going to music school to learn the basics of music and I was misbehaving my music teacher told me never ever touch a microphone again you should be prohibited from music well fast forward 10 years I was playing with my first heavy metal band at a local club and after that I found like several different bands we we got some demos EPs going and we got like fairly well known in a very short amount of time it was just my bad I always quit my bands like after one or two years and I hopped on to the next one but it was fun and we had success with it we even made some cash with it so everything was coming along great I just pivoted because I wanted something else always and um, every time I I thought of a new sport that I want to try so for example when I was 16 powerlifting I want to be a strong bench presser well on my second season I got a national silver medal and <coughs> I repeated on my third and fourth season as well so it was pretty dope I think and later on I did the same in Denmark in another country because when I was not even 19 I was 18 years old I got it on my mind that I want to go and study in Denmark and everybody said you're insane you're crazy you're stupid you're leaving your home country behind they won't even admit you there what do you think like you could just be admitted to like a global top 200 university well I was like worth a try right and I did that and uh, well I I got this into my head okay with minimal effort I will get maximal results at this university because in the meantime on the side 
I want to build my business and focus most of my efforts onto that. Well, with those minimal efforts I put into it, I got a perfect grade for my bachelor's. And two years before I finished university, I got this on my mind. I want to be able to make a living from my business, from what I really love to do, coaching entrepreneurs. I want to make a living out of that by the time I finish university. And if it was like just a time bomb, exactly by the time I finish university, I could cover all of my spendings and even more. So I made a decision a year prior to that, that okay, once I finish university, I want to leave the Danish taxation system behind. I want to set up my residency in South America, in Paraguay. And guess what? If you can see these skyscrapers behind me and the scenery, well, I'm in Asuncion, capital of Paraguay. So I made it happen. And I have so many, many more ideas in my head that I just took in there and I will never let them go. I will die sooner than letting, than ever letting these go. So this is the willpower aspect of it, that you just gotta have the dog in you, right? I never had to run game on girls. Like, if, for, for those who haven't heard this phrase yet, when you're running game on a girl or, or, or on someone, that means that you have learned specific techniques, words, phrases, and so on to start flirting in a way that you kind of hook them in, you reel them in, and some shit happens. Well, as I have built a strong character and a strong charisma, and I'm a man of morals, I never had to run game. Usually how I ever got involved in any kind of romantic relationships is just I just appeared at a spot all eyes on me and I just naturally gravitated towards that person and I just naturally attracted that person because I had the charisma I had the gravitas I had this kind of aura surrounding me and that was because of my willpower my physique my experiences my courage and everything in between right but we already talked about the physique we already talked about the willpower that's how you make it happen, right? Let's talk about energy because we haven't mentioned that yet. Of course, when you're young, you have basically infinite energy. Even when you're breaking the rules, you can get blackout drunk on a Wednesday night and wake up after one, one hour sleep on Thursday and get shit done and dominate the day. When you are 30, 40, 50 years old, you can't do that anymore. So the more you focus on your sleep quality, not just how much you sleep, but how well, how deep, how efficient you sleep. So if you can focus on these and you can get sustainable results, then you will get this sorted. You will have a strong character either way because your energy levels and your testosterone is constantly high. And if these hormones are optimized and your testosterone is constantly high, you shouldn't have a problem about how strong your character is. Because wherever you enter, people will feel that energy and you will just automatically dominate. So if you feel like you need help with that or you have a very specific sleep issues and you try to fix these for yourself but you couldn't succeed or you know how to fix these but you never really had the consistency to do that so we can help you feel free to book a free call below or go through the free resources I uploaded to my YouTube channel go through my previous videos I'm happy to help and happy to listen to your problems. And if you have any sleep or energy level specific questions, let me know in the comments below. But that's not the only thing we wanted to talk about. Because we discussed physique, willpower and energy. <coughs> Sorry, I'm still a little bit sick, like in the previous video. So, let's talk about the courage. Do you have the balls to make it happen? Had I not have the balls to stand on the stage, I wouldn't be talking to you like this right now. I wouldn't have been able to get good grades at my oral exams because I wouldn't have had the courage to speak at all. I, I wouldn't have 
started this business because I would be would have been afraid of okay what's what's going to happen if this all goes down to zero right and um, what would have happened if I never come to Paraguay yeah probably I would be paying like very very high taxes to <coughs> the files right now sorry I know I can't say this word loud on YouTube but anyway the thing is that if I didn't have the balls, didn't have the courage, I would never be here. And I don't think that's a big achievement yet. So probably that's one of the reasons why I'm not really looking forward to turning 23 because let's talk a little bit of my inspirations. Alexander the Great or all of the big businessmen right ahead of me. We can also talk about one of the contemporary ones like Alex Hermosi, right? all of these big dogs right they already went through some serious shit they lost everything they gained everything alexander the great at 22 years old that dude was already conquering half of the known world he was leading a fucking war in persia he was leading his army there at 22 years old like um there was this king called Baldwin who at the age of 16 led a crusade into what we call the modern day Palestine he led a crusade there he had he was suffering from leprosy he was 16 years old and led an entire army against Saladin one of the greatest Turkish war leaders at the age of 16 against an army that was outnumbering them tenfold and he won the battle that's it so is it impressive that I'm doing all of these things at 22 years old well not to my standards and um, this leads to one conclusion I need to take bigger risks and I need to be more courageous more brave right and probably you should be too so if you're watching this and think that I have the balls for having done all of this shit well that's not that true we all could always have better and bigger balls right so we could always have a little bit more courage than we used to be having before so this is very important so we discussed willpower energy physique and courage so finally, you really want to get dialed in on these aspects of your progress, on these aspects of your life, to build that character, and then you can finally feed off of your experiences. So the more tough shit you go through, the more difficult stuff that you are facing yourself or you are you're kind of like forcing yourself into so force yourself into new environment force yourself into new companies force yourself into new business vehicles and opportunities or whatever sparks your curiosities even if you have no idea what you're doing take that coaching program ask that girl out on that date right make that investment invest into that building buy that land do stuff because even if you mess it up you will be richer with such an experience that no one can ever take away from you. So the more you experience, the more you fail, the stronger your character will be. I think struggles are the best character builder and it's very difficult to say but, well, heartbreaks are one of them. Not too much experience but had a couple, especially a major one which had a big impact on me and I think that was a character builder. Character builder was grief, for example, when I lost a couple of relatives. And it's not a beautiful thing to say, but even if one day, if I had lost everything I ever had, all my financial resources, all the people I loved, all the materials that I ever possessed, all all the things that ever mattered to me, if I lost them all, that would suck, or probably that would build my character. 
because I do have the willpower of the dog who says that. Okay, now it's rock bottom time, but we do stand up and we keep marching forward. And if you are that dog who can do this, if you have this spirit in you, you have everything you ever need in life to build a strong character. Hope you find this video useful. If you did so, share this with your friends. Build strong people, strong men out of your fellow men. Share this with your teammates. Motivate them on a beautiful Monday morning. And I'm saying this without irony. I really do think that helps you put work and everything in between into a new perspective. Like this video, subscribe, and see you next one.